What you doing, honey? We got just south of there, and there's a little intersection where you go three miles to the aeropuerto, the airport, or you turn and to continue to Puerto Citos. And right there at that intersection, we pulled over for the night because by that time, um, we were just so tired. It had taken forever to get through the border, and, and it had taken a long time to yeah. just to get down there, so we were pretty exhausted. and. Uh, no one bothered us. The police came through and didn't bother us at all. And the ah. next morning, um, we had a flat tire, and yeah, it, it was wasn't. Low. And it wasn't what you think. It wasn't from pulling over to the side of the road. What we've noticed in Mexico is that if if there's no one there, you can park there. Yeah. If it just you yep. can park there, even if you're sticking out in the road. If there isn't a sign <laughs> there. It's good to go. You know, I don't care. So. So Mike tried valiantly to, to get the tire pumped up, but the, the little tire pumping machine just gave out yep. for an RV tire, and then our uh, air compressor just wasn't enough, because yeah. it was pretty low. A little one gallon air compressor is not gonna do a tire. Okay, so what's that then? All right, this is a 12 volt inflator. A 12 volt inflator, mm -hmm. okay. And how's that different from this compressor? The compressor runs on AC. Okay. This runs on DC. This valve comes out right here, so it's pointing straight out, you know? Right. So we went into town, we went to some Pemex stations, and their pressure just wasn't enough. up the tires and there's a lot of Pemex stations in San Felipe yeah buddy and so we found a tire shop we find an auto zone and looked for a, an air compressor and they just didn't have an air compressor that was powerful enough Oop, there we go Mike is modifying our new um, expansion tank they didn't have a, a powerful enough compressor for an RV tire in the auto zone we're at. We're tucked in behind the auto zone. Can, can I help you? See. I hope it's on the metric thread. I need my regular glasses. I can't see. I don't know which are your regular. Yeah. And so we went to the tire shop that's on your right as you head south just past the auto zone. And that fella, I've got a clip of that, was pretty rude to us and um, uh, I don't know what he said as we were leaving but he said something I've got a clip of that right here yeah. and we're parked by the side of the road because we can't fit in their shop we shall see. so what's going on Okay, maybe we need to find another shop. Okay, all right. Adios. And so, um, right in front of us was um, some police. They'd pulled over to what was actually a 7 Eleven attached to uh, the Pemex station, and they were just sitting in their truck eating lunch and I and I asked them you know if there's another tire shop in town that 
that one was just not very nice and too busy and they were so nice they said follow us huh. so we jumped back in the RV and we followed them through town to the uh, to the one that was on the other side of the street and we got turned around and we were able to pull in right in front of it the whole shebang the RV and the toad and everything <laughs> pull up to it and they had been real busy so it wasn't you know it wasn't yeah. like they were unbusy and for less than ten dollars they actually repaired the whole tire yep. 150 pesos it took it off and broke it loose it had a it had a bead leak was the thing it had some some crap in the bead and it was just a slow slow seeping leak there and okay. so we and how did that happen well, we had that tire looked at in Needles, California, where we were at that one place, and the guy really didn't know what he was doing. I think he got some grit in there, some, some dirt inside of it, and I, I don't know. But we uh, washed it out with soapy water, a bunch of dirt came out of the bead, pumped her back up, all good, all good. And Mike used to be a tire man with Alliance Beverages. He was yeah. a... Um, a diesel mechanic for a while and a yep. tire man as well so he could really be right in there and see what was going on yeah and, I was and watching sure the whole thing that everything went well and it did um, and we've got a little clip of that too because we want to promote businesses that are friendly nice do a great job huh. and um, and take care of you so here's a clip of that they pop that clip of that <laughs> <laughs> this is them right there get their sign in There's that fella, he's really nice. Flies. Hey flies, we're trying to get in here. No more flies. They're eager to get in here and drink of our moisture. <laughs> what they're doing. But uh, good service, friendly service is really important. Really super important. These guys are really friendly and nice. We're gonna definitely promote businesses that are that are nice good service so on the main boulevard here in San Felipe we're right on the five and the policeman led us down to this shop I was we were just at our end of our rope with the fella at the other shop being so mean and rude anyway, there it is there you go Vaya con Dios, everyone we'll catch right. up later and um, find some Wi-Fi to upload these videos. <laughs> huh. More later. More later. More later.